شاء الله عليه ما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, welcome uh, my students to this uh, second field trip in our communication system two class I would like to welcome everyone on board here we are in the PSU bus going to the TV tower uh, in the middle of uh, Riyadh city uh, I want you to I want to discuss with you what do you expect to see today what do you expect to see Yeah, we are expecting to see some TV transmitters, okay, digital TV transmitters working with the standard digital video broadcasting DVB-T, okay. If this is right, we will confirm it there. If it's wrong, then we will know what exactly is being used, what is the technology that is being used to deliver television signals to everyone in, uh, or the residents of the city of Rio, okay. So TV transmitters. Number two, what else do we expect? Yeah. FM transmitters, radio FM transmitters. Okay, FM radio transmitters. More than maybe 10 or 15 stations are being transmitted as FM here in Riyadh. So we expect to see the transmitters. If we didn't see them, we have to ask where are these transmitters? Because we have to, we have been to uh, Genetria, right? Uh, transmitting, broadcasting the stations, and we didn't see FM radio transmitters over there. We only saw the uh, AM and shortwave radio transmitters. So we expect to see here the FM transmitters as well. This is number two. Number three, what else do we expect to see? Uh, the real life components of the digital TV that we saw in one Right, right. This is inside the transmitter, but the main thing uh, is the studios. Yes. TV and FM radio studios, radio studios, okay? Like Quran Karim station studio should be here. Like when when the uh, announcer says, uh, uh, this is the Quran Karim uh, the radio station, you are listening on the frequency, so and so, we are now going to uh, the Haram to listen to uh, the prayers of Maghrib or Aisha or whatever. The, the, the announcer is actually here in one of the studios for FM radio and also for television okay so we expect to see some studios this is what I expect to see maybe also we could see some microwave linked transmitters which are uh, and optical fiber links also which are responsible to connect the transmitters here in Riyadh with all the studios all over, all over the, the kingdom so maybe also they will show us what they call the backbone or the microwave links or the optical fiber links okay don't forget to ask if we see any transmitter what is the power transmitted by this station okay how much power is being delivered because this is very important this this tells us how uh, what is the cost okay that they pay the the amount of design and, and safety needed or to protect the amount of power being transmitted so is it in the range of megawatts kilowatts stuff like that also don't forget to ask about the frequency bands used how many programs per transmitter the multiplexing don't forget about this how many tv programs are multiplexing on one tv transmitter <laughs> right in, in yeah in, in one band also ask them about this yeah uh, I think they use the 8 MHz standard per channel so we have to ask in each 8 MHz how many programs are you multiplexing if they are multiplexing any uh, what else to ask about uh, the analog TV is working there or analog, huh? analog TV and An yeah is it still analog TV working can we see the video signal that we saw or this is obsolete unless it's only digital streams this is also important. Uh, what is the furthest place that can receive a good signal, TV signal, from the TV tower? Is it inside Riyadh or outside Riyadh? How many kilometers they think that the coverage of this TV tower? Your communication is satellite. Uh, no, this is this building was built to deliver television signals using terrestrial network only the terrestrial network satellite 
uh, they are not responsible for satellite communication. They, of course, might have some connection with satellite to receive also the signals from the studio and stuff like that. So they use the satellite links as microwave links and also to get the video signals. But the main satellite transmitters are in Arabsat and this, inshallah, is going to be our third field trip, inshallah, but next semester. And we take the satellite course, or even if we didn't take the satellite course, inshallah, we will have one field trip to Arabsat to see the satellite. So, yeah, this is what we expect to, eh, to see today. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, inshallah. Stay safe, and we will see you after the trip. رضي الله عنهما قال أخبرني رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بما هو كائن إلى أن تقوم الساعة فما منه شيء إلا قد سألت إلا أني لم أسأل actually and we always open the radio and listen to the program without thinking much about how much technology and how much effort goes behind this program to make it uh, reach us with this quality right so I hope you enjoyed it uh, as we said we were expecting to see the TV studios and the radio studios and also the TV and FM transmitters but uh, unfortunately, uh, they didn't show us their transmitters. They said that the, the letter was uh, uh, not clear that you want to see the transmitters. So maybe you can organize another trip to see the transmitters. And actually, it would be long if we uh, go after this trip to, I mean, all of these tours that we had, still we want to see the transmitters. That would be a very long trip. So we are already tired, I believe, right? So inshallah, inshallah, uh, next semester we will organize another trip to Arabsat. Arabsat, they already have their own transmitters and uh, what we will see in the Arabsat uh, is very similar to what we are going to see here because after all the technology to transmit digital video signals is almost the same whether it's over satellite or over uh, terrestrial networks. Uh, we have a shared folder uh, for both courses, CME442 and 441, either of them. Uh, anybody who took a picture, please upload it to the folder. 
so to keep the quality instead of sending them off, uh, on whatsapp so on google drive uh, it will keep the quality please send it as soon as possible upload it to the folder i will send all of the media that we have along with a nice report to the type uh, team to prepare a nice report about this trip however i also uh, expect from you a uh, small and uh, nice report about the uh, things that we learned today. We learned a lot, I believe so. I myself learned a lot. So why not prepare like one page or something about the things that you have learned, including the security of the building, including uh, the stress that those people uh, behind the scenes, especially in the television department, they are really under stress. One second of failure uh, uh, worth 48,000 Saudi Arabia. Imagine how much stressful this job is. So write in items about the things that you have learned and you like today and send it to me. Inshallah, I will tell you how. And uh, that's it. I think uh, anybody have any comment? <laughs> Yeah, of course, experience, experience of the big road. Yeah, to avoid the uh, failures, right, of course, uh, experience plays a great role. Yeah, another thing, there was only one mistake that you heard of today. The mistake about the, the digital audio broadcasting, the signal is transmitted as a digital pulses. This is not true. Still, for digital technology, we have analog carriers. The carrier is always analog. You modulate it using a digital technique, yes. But what comes out of the antenna is an analog carrier with a frequency in the VHF or the UHF band. It comes on and off keying, for example, means that the carrier goes from the antenna for some time and then doesn't is not transmitted for another time. So still it's an analog carrier that is being transmitted. The antenna cannot send digital pulses in the baseband. This is a big topic. So that was the only mistake. Other than that, I like everything you have today. They are really uh, very nice. And what you learn in the university, you learn to be a researcher, you learn to be a developer of the technology, not just an operator. So even if you are really amazed and uh, inspired by what, you, by what you have seen today, still we are, occup we are equipping you with education not to make you an operation engineer, but to make you a researcher and developer. People who can really develop the technology, not just operate it. And this is a big difference. Okay? So I hope this is clear also to everyone. Any question? And, uh, and that's why until now it's not really uh, commercial maybe there is a plan to see money which is spent on the analog fm maybe just from economic point of view they can multiplex as he said many programs on one carrier to save the money and to reduce the cost i'm not sure but the reality is it's not until now Digital video broadcasting is live since 2007. But even after 15 years now, still digital audio broadcasting is not commercial. So yeah, maybe it has a financial uh, advantage, but not that much. That's my point of view, Allah Ta'ala. Okay, so thank you. Inshallah, see you in the next field trip, Inshallah. Thank you, Dr. Walid.